Ayan po, nakikita po nyo, Streaks Collide as we take a look at the starters para sa Barako Bowl. We got Yo, Lanete, Macmorro, Intal, and Pascual. Doon sa kapilang panig, Ross, Lasseter, Fajardo, Arwin Santos, at yung kanilang import na si AZ Reed. This quarter brought to you by Motolite for express attend service. Call 370-6686. Let's see here, Anthony. Who will be here with AZ Reed? Because that's going to be a difficult assignment for whoever's going to be guarding him. At the same time, obviously, we keep talking about the strength of the Macmorro in the road. It's not a challenge we don't see Junmar Fajardo to be able to stay on the court because it's going to be almost impossible to contain it to see Macmorro. Well, you want Junmar Fajardo to be able to try and push him out, to be able to keep him based on the bilis of Silvia Macmorro because he's, what, about seven feet, but he's really quick. So, he needs to be able to Junmar. Ayan, tanong natin dyan kay Jumar Fajardo. Obviously, he's now gonna have to exert strength and effort on both ends of the court. You know, one thing I like about the San Miguel Beer men, you know, as a team, not just Jumar Fajardo, in the past three games, na nakita mo yung fire, yung hunger para dito sa San Miguel Beer men. Even in that previous game, Arwin Santos, nung kalaban nila yung uh, star hotshots, eh, na-thrown out pa itong si Arwin. So that really means that Arwin has that fire in him to be able to get wins for the Beerman. Yun talaga importante, yung desire talaga kailangan nandudun. And right now, hitting from the outside, Lassiter with a three-point shot brought to you by PLDT Home TV Evolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Papawi sa kabilang panig, kaagad, hindi. Arwin picks up that loose ball. Four threes are early tally. Reed from the outside will miss. We take it in inside. That's just too easy para kay AZ Reed. After shooting that three-point shot, Barakobul allowing him to get an offensive rebound. And, you know, when I say rebounding, in today's ball game, that's going to be very key. Both teams rebound a lot. Both teams are very good rebounding teams. One and uh, number three in the league, actually, itong uh, dalawang kopo na natin. So whoever will be able to dictate the rebounding department will have a bigger chance of winning this ball game. Arwin Sato sa labas. Papasok sila kay Junmar. Will he challenge Macmorro? AZ Reed just took Macmorro out of there and goes ending ay natawag dito kay Moro. Macmorro, sabi niya. Hindi mo ba nakita yung illegal pick to sa akin kanina? Nagalit itong si Liam Macmorro. Kita mo, hinabol niya talaga itong tira ni Junmar Fajardo. Look at how high he goes up there for that block shot. Even if goaltending yun, iba yung psychological effect nun sa mga ta dun sa buong koponan ng San Miguel Beerman. The next time that they drive or take a shot in front of Macmorro, they're gonna have a second thought. Mas lalo na si Junmar, sabi niya, ang taas pala nung inabot niya. E sa susunod, kailangan natin mas mataas pa lalo. Or gamitan mo ng katawan. Tama. Yo. Orchestrating. Finds Macmorro on the outside. That is not his comfort zone. He takes the jumper and quickly goes inside. That is his spot. Four points now for Liam Macmorro and both his buckets coming from the inside. Para hinagis na lang yung para makuwan ni rebound. Everybody else, of course, unaware of what he was trying to do. Steal. Lanete, all by his lonesome, will challenge and delivers. Chico Lanete missed the first few games para sa Barakobo because of uh, that cut under his eye. And now he's back. Chico, nung uh, last conference, ang ganda rin ang pinapakita niya. He's one of the other guys on oh, duck shot that time. Good passing by the San Miguel Beerman. Itong si Chico, balikan natin. Isa siya sa mga manlalaro that can give that offensive spark for Barako. Well, he can bring that offensive spark to just about any team he plays for here. They go inside to Macmorro once again. And another turnover dito para sa Barako Bull. Watch it here once again. Great find there by Lasseter. One of the few times, sabi ni Junmar, eh, makakawala ako dito sa aking bantay. Sulitin ko na. Nice spin move! And that's what Junmar has to do. He has to be able to read that situation. Lumabas ng uh, bahagya itong si Liam Macmorro. Spun to the baseline, easy two points for Junmar. Well, alam mo, sinabi natin kanina that Junmar will have to work both ends of the floor. Obviously, Joseph right now, Joseph Hill hits this three-point shot. Brought to you by PLDT Home TV Evolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. But then that is Macmorro will have to work both ends. Boy, both these teams starting like houses on fire. Lasseter now with five points. Swing it around. 
Pasquale with the jumper. Ross takes that rebound. Nice move. Finds Santos. Santos inside. You like the aggressiveness of Chris Ross. He was on who initiated that fast break, flattening the defense of Barack Bull. Here's Lenet that gets away inside and finds Ooh. McMorrow. Anthony, that game that we covered of Barack Bulls, he said that Liam McMorrow is the best player that game. He said that they are more popular. And you can see the chemistry has definitely been building for Barack Bulls. Finding Liam McMorrow, it's all about trying to figure out where he's comfortable. And they know that he's just hanging around that rim. JC and Tal taking it strong to the basket. Getting the first foul. Let's take a look at this Astig moves. Brought to you by Jack and Jill. Iceman Candy, Ilabas, Ang Tapang. Nilabas din ni J.C. Intal yung kanyang tapang. That time, challenging the Kraken. First foul ni Fajardo. Makes both. Intal now on the board. You get the feeling that we're gonna have a shootout here today, Dom? Well, both teams really averaging a lot in terms of... Uh, on offense, so alamong tong dalawang kopanan nato, they will get their points if they shoot even uh, better than their normal percentage. The sigurado talaga galing sa labas pa mga tiro niya. Intal, Fields has got the advantage over. Is it Ross and they kick it around. Lanete misses again. McMorrow, he's got a three-point play opportunity. Liam McMorrow, nakita mo kung gano'ng kalayo yung kinailangan niyang i-reach para makuha yung offensive rebound na yun. And, you know, that's just the effort that he is showing. Ito na yung pinanggit natin Dom earlier. Two quick fouls para kay Junmar Fajardo and he's gotta sit down and he's only played what? Five minutes? And now he becomes ineffective on that bench. Dito ngayon papasok yung uh, pressure para dito kay J.R. Reyes. J.R. Reyes, you know, he's a big guy, 6'7", but he'll need to be able to try and defend Liam McMorrow without fouling him. Look at this, Ross challenging the big man with success. Okay, First two points for Ross. Small guys of both teams able to break down the defense. And when they're left open, nakakakuha sila ng layup. Pero pagka hindi naman sila bukas, they're able to give it to their big man inside. And how can J.R. Reyes stop McMorrow? He's got 11 points already. Well, he's got to be able to try and push him out even before he gets to the spot. Doon pa lang sa may bandang taas, itulak mo na. Not worry about anybody else or even getting the rebound, but just make sure that McMorrow does not get close to that basketball. McMorrow has been very effective so far. Great basket there by Lasseter. We've got a shootout at the OK Corral here. Look at the points. Usually, pang isang buong quarter na yung putos Tama. na yan. We're only halfway through the first. Not to say that these two teams have not been playing defense, but are just better offense. Intal inside! Well, both teams have definitely outscored their opponents. Kaya nga naman sila nagkakaroon ng mga panalo. But yun na nga nag-dictate ng kanilang uh, laro is actually their offense. Here's Yo. In no hurry. Waiting for Makmoro to get into his spot. Asking for it in the timeout is going to be called here. 24 19 is our tally. Barakabul, lamang ng limarito sa ating first quarter. Looking for Reed. Poor pass. Yo. We'll get fouled here. Duty foul. Galik el Lasseter. At ang problema mo pa dito kay Liam McMorrow. You know, he's, he's a bundle of energy. At hindi siya tumitigil. Oh, hindi siya tumitigil. Kahit i-box out mo, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung pagkuha ng offensive rebound. That's gonna be an easy point coming here para sa kapunan ng San Miguel. Nine points already for Lasseter. Gonna stay in step with McMorrow. Scoring-wise and getting away sa loob. Well, Jake Pascual that time taking advantage of his matchup against Arwin Santos. Parang nagulat din si Arwin. Na dumerecho, ito si Jake Pascual. Using his height and his heft. Kasi bibihira naman pumosti ng ganun yung Jake Pascual eh. So hindi mo akalain yun. But the next time, for sure, Arwin Santos will be aware that <laughs> ito si Jake Pascual will take it. 
hindi na siya magbibigyan ng, ano, oh, oh. ng isa pang opportunity. Read inside. Piniti ng konti. They're not gonna be able to save that one. Grabe to si McMorrow. Kahit sa defense, talaga nagtatrabaho pa rin. Mayroon magandaan sa kanya. Hindi tumitigil. You know, the easiest way to take out a player is if once he stops playing. And Liam McMorrow plays 48 minutes both ends of the court. Mayroon mga player, di ba, one-dimensional, offense, ano lang, offense lang, iba naman, pang-depensa lang. But McMorrow, he just makes life difficult for the opposing team. Here we have a foul on Reyes. Warning about Jerry Reyes versus 14 seconds shot clock. And a warning to boot. Double block. Ay, kaagad eh. Sabi niya, ref, kanina pa ako nadataktakan dito eh. Ano ba? Ano ba pwede kong gawin? That's kept alive. Shot clock at 5. Intal knows it. Skying. Missing. Here's Arwin. We just passed call to beat. Sabi niya, take this. Hindi naman siya nakabawi. Intal, challenging inside once again. Tulanete. They try to get it inside. Yo, gets to it. Goes for the jumper and hits. Look at that ball movement by Baraka Bull. Not forcing shots. Really trying to rotate that basketball and getting the best options. Well, Baraka Bull so far in this first quarter shooting 11 out of 19 for 58%. Ito namang San Miguel, 10 out of 16 for 63%. There you go. Kaya na pinag-usapan natin kanina. Ibang klase yung pinakikita mga numero rito. You like how Chris Ross attacked that defense at napaswitch, napatulong ng si Liam McMorrow leaving J.R. Reyes for that shot. Let's check it now with Sel. The first two huddles of SMB was just a reiteration of their game plan na i-contain ang import ng Baraco Ball na si Liam McMorrow. At sabi ni Coach Leo, pag dinedepensahan si Liam, alam dapat ng SMB players kung saan sila poposisyon sa court. Balik sa inyo. Well, Sel, let's see if they can really execute it. It's one thing it's diagram one thing, <laughs> oh, It's one thing to tell your players what to do. It's another thing to be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and against McMorrow, baka, baka si Bill, Coach, baka ikaw naman ang gusto sumubok doon para makita mo kung talaga kung paano dinadanas namin. Gulpi na kami. Well, he has been really a gem of an import para dito sa Baraco. Jumper there. He can hit that and Reyes does. Well, that's the way for J.R. Reyes. You know, make him uh, want to play better defense on you and hopefully he'll give up a foul. At uh, yun ang magagawang contribution itong si J.R. Garcia, pumasok na. Look at McMorrow. Just manhandle. Ito yeah, si J.R. Reyes. And sabi niya, Coach, ginawa ko na lahat ng magagawa ko eh. Without fouling, you know. But I don't see J.R. Reyes. Really a tough task for him. 13 points already for McMorrow. Six out of seven field goals. Exceptional numbers. How can you miss a dunk? Tsaka, hindi pilit ang mga tiyan yung maganda eh. Diba? He's making himself available or he's getting offensive rebounds. Reed comes up with a jumper. Pero lima pa rin. Ang lamang ng Baraco Bowl dito. Under two minutes to play sa ating first quarter. We go inside once again. Intal. Beals has got the advantage over Lutz who just checked in. McMorrow. Again, taking it strong inside. And look at that. What he was trying to do is just getting... That shot up and be able to get that offensive rebound. Oh, just mad at the defense of J.R. Reyes. Just too big, too strong. <laughs> and he looks at the bench once again. You know, probably trying to ask coach. Alam ko siya sabi mo pero paano kung magagawa yun eh? Napakalaki niya. Just the size difference and the strength difference, right? Between Macaro and J.R. Reyes. Kita mo dito talaga pagkuha niya. Kita mo he wants to create some space, able to create that space. Na urong ito si J.R. Reyes without getting that offensive foul, getting the two points once again. That was like a half elbow push. It wasn't even a full elbow push, and he got the space he needed. Pito na alamang ng Baraco Bull. Reed from the outside hits a three pointer. Of the coverage, we talked about AZV being able to knock down those three point shots. Dun sa mga panalo ng uh, San Miguel, maganda ang three point shooting ni AZV. 
Seven points already for him. Wilson checking into the ball game. Challenges inside. Sabi ni Reyes, mas mabilis pa pala tawag ni Macmoro. Hindi na si Macmoro yung bantay ko eh. Dylan Nababu has also checked into the ball game para dito sa kumpunan ng Barako Bowl. So even more firepower off the bench. Yun ang naging advantage ngayon ni Coach Koy Banal. Meron siyang pinaghuhugutan ng uh, offense. And one thing about Barako, they're able to close out ball games. You know, when you have a young team or a team that has a lot of player movement, mahirap pa minsan mag-close out ng games because hindi kayo masyadong magkakakilala pa or hindi mo alam kung sino ang papasahan mo. But because of this mold that they have now, this good mix, they're able to win consistently. Lutz, looking for his import, finally gets it to Reed. Reed on the outside, takes a long three-pointer. It's a miss. Here comes Yo, nagmamadali. He feels they've got the advantage, and now they'll set things up. 36 seconds remaining, time for two more plays. Yo throws it inside to the big man, McMurro. One of the few misses. He's had, and a foul is going to be called. Nakita mo yun? Ang ganda na ng defense ng San Miguel. But Liam McMorrow just gives you that bailout. Di ba? Ang ganda ng pagtulong dito kay Joseph Yo. He suspended himself a little bit longer in the air. Able to get that ball to Liam McMorrow. Even if it wasn't a perfect pass, he was still able to make something out of it. One out of two from the line now is McMorrow. Catch the 28 C games as 11 20 racing countries compete for the gold. Starting June 5, Friday, Nito Lamposa, TV5, Action, and Sports5.ph. Laban, Pilipinas. Nothing there on that trip for McMorrow. Maybe fatigue started to set in. Well, Liam McMorrow, this conference, shooting at about close to 60% from the free throw line. So, you know, there will be games that he will miss a couple of free throws. Two seconds difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Reyes from the outside, yes! Reyes. You know, even if J.R. Reyes has two personal fouls, the good thing about it is he's able to give Jumar Fajardo some rest, and they kept this game close. Actually, mas maganda pa ang pinapakita ng San Miguel in terms of the score nung nandito itong si J.R. Reyes because of that collective effort by the beer. After the first 12 minutes of action, Barakabul 33, it's San Miguel 30. 